Hello, everybody. The Lawn Gnome is here. First of all, you're welcome. Was definitely one that got away. When I saw the trailers, I was laughing my head off, and I was really excited to see it, but I just didn't, and I'm upset about that. So I was really glad that I finally found it on HBO, and that is the Jason Bateman starred in and directed film, Bad Words. This is the story of a guy named Guy Trilby, who is played by Jason Bateman. He is a badass with a brain. He is a guy that suddenly shows up at a school spelling bee, and he is in his early 40s, and he never passed the 8th grade, so he has this loophole of actually competing in spelling bees with children. Now, he has a different plot in mind, because he definitely wants to do something really big, and it basically takes him all the way to the national championships, and the question remains, does he actually get the winning prize, and what exactly is he trying to do? And that was one of the few strong points about this film. I love the fact that he was here. I love the fact that he had a mouth on him. Some of the things that came out of Jason Bateman's mouth were so hilarious and, and sometimes jaw-dropping because you never would have imagined something coming out of the guy who is in Arrested Development or Horrible Bosses. Even in those films, he, even in those roles, he doesn't do that kind of stuff. So to see him in this movie was definitely a real fresh take on his character. The highlight of this film is Rohan Chan, who plays Chitnaya, who is a little Indian boy that befriends Jason Bateman's character, and some of the things that they do and some of the exchanges of dialogue that they have is absolutely priceless. I don't even want to get into it. You gotta see this movie just to see exactly what is said in this film. Another great character in this film is Allison Janney. She plays the head of the national championships for the Spelling Bee. I love Allison Janney and anything that I have ever seen. This film also has one of the funniest sex scenes I have ever seen in film in my entire life. Again, don't want to give anything away. You gotta see it to believe it. The only thing that I can say that's bad about this movie is it has a couple of slow points, and those points really do tend to drag, so it's sort of like a seesaw. It goes on a high, it dips, it goes on another high, it dips. Here's the way that I'm going to sum up this movie, because I really don't want to give anything away. It's just one of those movies that you should see. It's easily forgettable. It's not one of those movies you're going to want to see again and again. It's a movie that will never be praiseworthy, but... It has a deeper story than you would ever expect it to believe. It has a very interesting plot twist, and if you are one of the fortunate few that sees it, you may not go running into the streets saying that this is the movie you need to see, it's the funniest film ever. You will be satisfied and you will be happy that you've seen it. I don't intend on seeing this movie again. I don't intend on owning this movie. If it shows up on HBO and there's someone with me who's never seen the movie, I will stop flipping channels and say, let's sit and watch this. But it is interesting. It's a very entertaining dark comedy. So Bad Words is going to get three out of four from me. Thank you very much for watching another one that got away. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Actions speak louder than words.